The future of Africa lies within Africa. In fact, it lies beneath our feet. Our majestic continent is rich with natural minerals, but for too long, large quantities of raw mineral ores have been exported from our shores with very little value additional beneficiation. One such mineral is titanium dioxide, from which the most widely used white pigment in the world is derived. Due to its unique opacifying and whitening capabilities, titanium dioxide is used as a whitening pigment in a variety of products, from architectural paints, industrial coatings, plastics and papers, to cosmetics and foods. Africa accounts for 45% of the global titanium reserves. Yet despite this, every year the continent spends over $600 million importing titanium dioxide pigment alone. The lack of mineral beneficiation and value addition capacity on the continent has severely handicapped further industrial, economic and social development. But thanks to the trailblazing efforts of the Anzalite Metals, this is set to change. Their pioneering project heralds a major milestone in the development of the titanium value addition industries and will see South Africa and the African continent finally benefit from their vast mineral ore reserves. It is the vast availability of titanium minerals in the continent that inspired Arkin Capital Partners to spearhead the development of Yanzalite Metals. With the support of DBF Capital Partners, they were determined to develop this trailblazing project and create a viable and sustainable continental model for value addition and mineral beneficiation. A model that will represent great advancement of economic and social opportunities for South Africa and see titanium value addition industries emerge. Once completed, Nyanza's $550 million or approximately 9 billion rands titanium dioxide pigment and chemicals manufacturing complex will produce 80,000 tons of titanium dioxide pigment annually, along with other byproducts such as gypsum, aluminium, magnesium, and ferrous sulfate. This will cement South Africa's pivotal position in this multi-billion dollar manufacturing value chain, which is currently dominated by companies in Asia and Europe, as well as the USA and China. Yanza Light Metals found its home at the Richards Bay Industrial Development Zone. This is because of the many benefits the RBIDZ offers Yanza, including vital access links to international seaport gateways for import and exports, access to road and rail networks, access to gas and water, as well as ease of access to sea outfall and infall lines managed by Inkletuzi Water. This is in addition to the tax benefits afforded to operations placed within an economic zone. Phase 1 construction of the Yanza complex commenced in May 2021 and culminated in the commissioning of the Product Testing and Development Centre. The PTDC produces titanium dioxide pigment and provides sufficient product volumes and samples for customers to run paint formulation at a commercial scale and allows them to offer new paints or coatings to the customer market. The main production facility will have the capacity to produce 80,000 tonnes of titanium dioxide pigment per annum. The facility will include a sulfuric acid manufacturing plant, a solar plant, a steam-fired cogen power plant, gas-fired boilers for steam production, an on-site waste effluent neutralisation plant, a gypsum manufacturing plant, an aluminium sulphate plant, a copper ass plant, and three rail shunting lines for bulk mineral handling, and other associated infrastructure and utility plants. For our plant designs, we're choosing equipment that will deliver the highest energy efficiency, as well as the lowest carbon footprint. We will not use coal, instead, we will have solar and gas powering our plant. This will help us limit our greenhouse gas contribution and also minimize climate change impacts. In addition to recycling wastewater within the operations, we will also be turning some of the waste generated from our operations into products. Yanza is committed to embracing the principles of the circular economy, as well as creating meaningful participation for local communities through job creation, training the youth and developing local supply chains which will be dominated by the small to medium local companies. During the construction process, over 2,000 construction jobs will be created, along with an additional 1,200 permanent jobs once the plant is complete. A project like this 
only happens once every 30 years. We are committed to making sure that this happens. And to do that, we have brought in serious partners. And we continue to enjoy the support of the South African government through the DTIC. As Nyanza Light Metals continues to grow, additional international finance and development institutions continue to add their support. Through this support, Yanza Light Metals will be able to achieve and promote the sustainable industrialization which is key to our country and continent's success. Africa's time is now, and it is our shared responsibility to seize and capitalize on this moment. As our name states, Nyanza represents a sea of opportunities. With Nyanza, we do believe in the future, and that future starts with us.